Desperate and humiliated, Chima's bitterness towards Chief Obi is a grill. He began to blame his misfortune on the chief, accusing him of not supporting their new venture out of spite. In the heart of Oka, nestled between lush green hills and flowing rivers, lay the village of Umuaka. It was a place where traditions were held dear and stories of old were passed down from generation to generation. Among the villagers lived a young woman named Ifyoma, known for her beauty, kindness and intelligence. Ifyoma had grown up under the care of her uncle, Chief Obieze, the wealthiest man in Humuaka. Her parents had passed away when she was just a child, and Chief Obieze had taken her in as his daughter. He provided her with the best education and ensured she wanted for nothing. Ifyoma loved her uncle dearly and was grateful for all he had done for her. As she blossomed into adulthood, Ifyoma caught the eyes of many young men in the village. But her heart was set on Chima, a humble but ambitious trader. Chima's charisma and dreams of expanding his trade captivated Ifyoma. However, Chief Obiese had higher aspirations for Ifyoma and wanted her to marry a man of equal wealth and status. One fateful day, Ifyoma told her uncle about her love for Chima. Chief Obiese, seeing the depth of her feelings, decided to meet Chima. Impressed by the young man's ambition and respectfulness, he agreed to the union on one condition. Chima must prove himself worthy by succeeding in his trade. To support them, Chief Obiese provided Chima with a substantial loan to expand his business, a gesture that filled Ifyoma's heart with joy. Months passed and Chima's business flourished beyond expectations. He repaid the loan and showered Ifyoma with gifts, promising her a life of comfort and love. Their wedding was the grandest Humaka had ever seen, and the village celebrated their union with songs and dances that echoed through the night. As years went by, Ifyoma and Chima's fortunes grew. However, with wealth came greed. Chima began to change, influenced by friends who whispered in his ear about the power and status that wealth could bring. He became increasingly distant from Ifyoma and started making decisions without consulting her. One day, a dubious business opportunity arose. Chima, blinded by greed, saw it as a way to double their wealth. He needed more funds to invest and turned to Chief Obiese, requesting another loan. However, this time, Chief Obiese was cautious. He advised Chima against the venture, citing the risks involved. Chima harbored resentment because he felt insulted and believed that Chief Obiese doubted his abilities. Ignoring the chief's advice, Chima went ahead with the investment, using all their savings. As feared, the business deal collapsed, plunging Chima into debt. Desperate and humiliated, Chima's bitterness towards Chief Obiese grew. He began to blame his misfortune on the chief, accusing him of not supporting their new venture out of spite. If Yoma caught between her love for her husband and her loyalty to her uncle tried to mediate, but Chima's heart had hardened. In a rage, he accused Ifyoma of conspiring with her uncle against him. Devastated, Ifyoma left their home and sought refuge with Chief Obiese. In the meantime, Chima's debts mounted and creditors began to threaten him. He realized he had only one option left to beg Chief Obiese for help. With a heavy heart, Chima swallowed his pride and went to the chief's compound, kneeling before Chief Obiese. He pleaded for forgiveness and assistance. Chief Obiese, seeing the sincerity of Chima's remorse and remembering his love for Ifyoma, decided to help once more. He cleared Chima's debt but warned him that this was his final chance. Chima, humbled and grateful, vowed never to let greed cloud his judgment again. With time, Chima and Ifyoma rebuilt their lives. Their experience had taught Chima the value of humility and gratitude. He realized that hurting those who had once helped him was a path to run. Ifyoma and Chima's love grew stronger, built on a foundation of respect and understanding. The village of Umuaka often spoke of Ifyoma and Chima's story, a reminder that betrayal and ingratitude lead only to one's downfall. Chief Obiese's wisdom and Ifyoma's unwavering loyalty became lessons for generations to come. And so, the story of Ifyoma, the lady from Oka, became a timeless tale, 
teaching the moral never to hurt the finger that fed you. If you enjoyed today's story, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories like this. Until next time, stay safe and take care.